Pokemon has revealed their newest dragon set, Paradise Dragona, and it features three dragon Pokemon that might surprise you. Let's check it out. What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is the Poke Trainer Lair. Today we have another Pokemon news update. As I mentioned, Pokemon has revealed their newest dragon set coming out next month, and they also revealed some of the cards that are gonna be in the set. We're gonna be taking a look at those today. If you're excited for another Pokemon news update, be sure to leave a like down below. Also drop a comment, let me know if you guys are excited for Paradise Dragona, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content with notifications on so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But all right, let's get into the computer and see what this Paradise Dragona is all about. All right, you guys, we're on the computer screen on pokebeach.com. Links in the description box so you guys can check out the article for yourselves. But as you can see, posted August 1st. The time of this recording is August 4th, so it's about three days later. But Paradise Dragona TCG set officially revealed featuring Latias, EX, Terra, Alolan, Executor, EX, and more Dragon Pokemon. Paradise Dragona has been officially revealed as posted before. It will release in Japan on September 13th, and the trademark for this set was discovered back in April. So we kind of knew about this set that was gonna come out featuring Dragon Pokemon. Everybody was talking about it being the next uh, Dragon Majesty, but as you can see, we have Paradise Dragona here featuring Executor, uh, Latias, and Latios. The ad got in the way right there, so sorry about that, but here is the booster pack um, art right here. You have a Lolan Executor, and Latios and Latios. Let's go back here as we scroll down. It states here that Paradise Dragona was obviously created in part to commemorate 2024's Year of the Dragon. And it says we expect the cards from this set and October's Supercharged Breaker to form our Surging Sparks set, which is the English set that we're going to be getting in November featuring the Terraform Pikachu. Um, it says here, thanks to Justin Basil for the translation. So appreciate Justin Basil for translating some of these cards. Um, obviously, they're just been in re revealed in Japanese. Here is an Execute uh, with 30 HP. And we have uh, Precocious Evolution. If you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve and then shuffle your, uh, shuffle your deck, excuse me. So it's kind of like, uh, I forget um, the exact card and what set it was, but there was a coughing that when you put it onto the field or onto your side of the board, um, you can evolve it into the Weezing. I believe there is um, a card in the Scarlet and Violet era that does the same thing. I think it's the Vivillon, if I'm not I'm mistaken, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, so we have the Execute can evolve as soon as, uh, not as soon as you put it into play, but you do the attack for one colorless energy and you can evolve it into Executor EX. Uh, we move on, we have Gouging Fire, 130 HP. This looks like it might be a hollow to be honest. Uh, lunge out for 30 damage. And then you also have Blazing Support, 100 plus damage. But if your opponent has four or fewer prize cards remaining, the attack does 70 more damage. So um, pretty good late game attacker for, uh, for a one prizer. You can do 170 um, if you're down in the prize trade. So we have Latias EX. So this is what the EX looks like, the Latias with 210, uh, 210 excuse me, HP and it has no retreat cost, which is kind of cool. You can just retreat whenever you want. For two sidekicks, one colorless, you got Eon Blade, that does 200 damage, but you can't attack next turn. And the ability, excuse me, was the Skyline, which is the your basic Pokemon have no retreat costs. This card has two retreat costs, excuse me. But since this is a basic Pokemon, it has no retreat costs. Your basic Pokemon have no retreat costs, if, as long as this is in play, I believe. Uh, then we have the Latios, 120. This is just a regular Latios, 120 HP. Then you got skill dive for one psychic, one colorless. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for two energy. I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but you can attack any Pokemon. You can attack the bench, you can attack the active. Um, and then you have for two psychics, one colorless jet headbutt for 110 damage. So these are all the cards here. Just kind of wanted to go through the main cards. I mean, gouging fire is probably the one that's out of the <laughs> out of the theme here 
But Latios, Latios, let's see, there's some more Dragon Pokemon that's gonna be in this set. Uh, we have a Dialga with 130 HP for one colorless. You have time control, search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of it in any order. So not bad. I mean, if you have this in the active and then you do that attack, you can get two cards that you want from your deck onto the top. So the next two turns, you're kind of getting whatever two cards that you want, unless your opponent does something to make you shuffle your deck. Um, but you have uh, Buster Tell that does 160 damage for a Psychic, Metal, and Colorless. But here is the big mascot of Paradise Dragona, Alolan Executor EX with 300 HP. Is a stage one, obviously evolves from, ex uh, from Execute, excuse me. Terraform, if the Pokemon's on your bench, it can't be harmed by any attacks. But see, this thing is kind of broken because for one grass and one water, you got Tropical Fever that does 150 damage and choose any number of basic energies from your hand and attach them to your Pokemon in any way of your likes, any way you like, excuse me. So you do this attack, you're doing 150 damage and then you got a bunch of energy in your hand. You can attach those to whoever you want. It's insane. Um, so crazy energy uh, acceleration right there. And then you can just add one of the energies onto Executor so you can use your next attack next turn. So you have for one grass, one water, and one fighting, you got swinging sphere, flip a coin. If heads knock out your opponent's basic, po active basic Pokemon, if tells you knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon on the bench, no matter what you flip, you're knocking somebody out. So. You do Tropical Fever, do 150 damage, right, to their active. And then you add one more energy, you get your Fighting Energy onto Executor so you can use Swinging Sphere. I said Sphere, right? Swinging Fiend, excuse me, it wasn't Swinging Sphere. It's Swinging Fiend, and you can attack or knock out any Pokemon on your opponent's side um, of the board, so kind of kind of crazy man i'm sure we can get some crazy executor decks then we move on we got altaria 120 hp humming charge for wooden water search your deck for two basic energies attach them to your pokemon in any way you like cotton wings flip coin of heads during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to this pokemon so that's that's pretty cool got some new pokeball item cards here we got the dusk ball look at the bottom cards of your deck reveal a pokemon you find there and put it into your hand so it's kind of like the reverse of a great ball you look at the bottom seven versus the, the top and you get whatever Pokemon that you may find. And since it is a dragon Pokemon, it has a lot of dragon support cards like Dragon's Potion, heal 60 damage from your active dragon Pokemon. So um, this is just a tool card or, or um, an item card, I should say. And you can have four of these in your deck and then just heal up your executor. Um, if it takes any type of damage, you just keep healing up your executor. It's already a tank as it is, but you just heal 60 damage every time from your executor. Uh, anytime it takes damage, you can just, it's, it's, it's a tank already with 300 HP. So, um, you have 60 damage, uh, you can heal off of it. And then you have your supporter Drayton. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon and a trainer you find there and put them into your hand shuffle the other cards back into your deck so this is kind of like great ball but you're also getting a trainer out of it any trainer card whether it's an item a pokemon tool another supporter but obviously you could only use one supporter per turn but it's not bad to get a pokemon in your hand and then another supporter or whatever other trainer card that you may find in those seven cards that you look at and put it in your hand and then you have this new boss's orders which is kind of crazy because it has the effect of boss's orders. You switch one of your Pokemon or one of your opponent's Pokemon from the bench into the active spot, but it does have to be a basic Pokemon, which is like the caveat, I guess you could say. So boss's orders, it can be any Pokemon. But then again, you, once you make the switch, that Pokemon in the active, the Pokemon that you just brought in from the bench is now confused. So now they, they they flip a coin if they want to attack you with that Pokemon or they have to switch it out themselves if they don't want to use it. But kind of kind of a good card right there. Obviously, it would have been broken, like super broken, if it didn't have to be a basic Pokemon. It can be any Pokemon. So you can start attacking the, their heavy hitters and then make them confused at the same time so they can't even attack you back, possibly. Coin flip, but you know. Um, yeah, Lysia's appeal is going to be pretty cool. And then you have a new A-Spec card, which is Rich Energy. 
As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach this to a, a Pokemon from your hand, or you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, you may draw four cards. So, um, not bad. Um, pretty good uh, draw, I guess, a drawing card right there. But if you can only have one A spec card in your deck, I'm not sure if this is the one you're going to go with. I think there's better ones. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you need draw support, you can draw four cards by using this energy and it obviously works as colorless energy as well since it is a energy card there's a, a comment down here that says nothing in this set is going to top uh, dangerous laser which that's in um i believe it's shrouded fable or i think it might be stellar crown i'm not sure but uh yeah i've seen what dangerous laser can do and uh, yeah that's probably going to be the best uh, the best excuse me the best a spec card um of the current times right now so but yeah there is a uh, paradise dragona um executor latios and latios i wonder what other cards are going to be in this set um i'm pretty sure these uh, we're going to get some illustration rares i'm sure there's going to be an illustration rare or a special illustration rare of executor for sure like you can't the mascot has to get a big card so um i'm hoping there's other dragon pokemon in here I'm, I'm, i don't know if they're going to include like flygon um and i say flygon because I feel like this set has a lot to do with the game and the coastal biome from the DLC. And quote me on this, remember this when you watch this, if uh, they drop a um, Latias and Latios terraform for the game, like a, like a mystery gift or, or a raid or whatever the case may be, you're going to remember me saying that because I think it has to do with the biomes in the game, or at least this set does with the coastal biome. You can catch Executor, but there is no Latias and Latios, so they're probably going to do some type of an event, Terror Raid, or a code where you can get, um, maybe you get uh, Latios in Violet, and then you get Latias in, in Scarlet, so I don't know, but, but, but remember that. I think they're going to do <laughs> Latios, Latias, Terraforms, but... Um, scroll down too fast there but yeah you have the uh, loyal executor which is one of the pokemon you can find in the coastal biome so and i say flygon because flygon is in the terranium um but it's not in the coastal biome i think it's i want to say it's in the savannah but it's still a dragon pokemon um i don't know maybe they add duraludon i'm just naming the dragon pokemon that are in the that part of the game in the dlc i believe there's a um Axew, Fracture, and I forget the final stage. Um, Haxorus. Haxorus. Um, maybe Haxorus. I don't see Dragonite coming into the set. I don't know. I, this is just going to take too much of a shine from Executor. Obviously, the Executor is the main mascot. Obviously, it's in the cover art. So I don't think they'll bring in, you know, Salamence, Dragonite, stuff like that, like to to steal the shine from Latios and Latios and Executor, I don't see it, but maybe some other like smaller tier dragons like Duraludon, you know, we don't really care about that much. Um, and especially not more than Latios and Latias, but uh, I don't know, maybe like a um, Haxorus, you know, just a Flygon, Flygon would be cool. Um, but yeah, there is Paradise Dragona. All right, you guys, that is it for me. Any another Pokemon news update. Paradise Dragona has officially been revealed. What do you guys think of the set? Did you expect something like this or did you expect something even crazier with like, like Dragon Majesty? Because I think when they revealed that they were gonna come out with a set like this, everybody was thinking, you know, Dragon Majesty 2, like not that title, but you know, some same vibes as Dragon Majesty, but there is Paradise Dragona. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the set. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed today's content. And also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And turn those notifications on so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And lastly, if you're looking to buy any deck boxes, binders, or card sleeves, be sure to check out my links down below in the description box as usual for Vault X. And if you want to save some money and support the channel, use my code PTLayerVX at checkout. And with all that being said, I want to thank you guys again for taking this Pokemon journey with me. I'll see you back here for the next video. You guys have a good day. Peace.